everything for the systems and communication. So all the content management, application development, storage, hardware, software, changing timer cartridges, everything. I wanted to get a better sense of the the standard or the accepted practices around content management and then later around records management. I took the ERM master in person because of the interchange with the other people in the room. Uh, it's, it's one thing to have the training material presented by a, a great instructor, but so many times the point would be made and the instructor would bring the, the uh, other members of the classroom into it and would hear concrete examples that were that were like happening right now or you know this this is what our company does and these are the challenges we have and I, I still keep in communication with with some of the those classmates and it added on to the value of the uh, the training itself the the catalyst for ECM was when we when we got SharePoint and we started looking at it as a content management platform because uh, you're just exposed to all the options and all the possibilities and you know all of the capabilities that SharePoint has and it's kind of like well what do I do where, where do I go with this and, and uh, I'm a, just a firm believer of it's not it's not how do I do it better in SharePoint how do I make it look better how do I make it work faster how do I get this drop down to expand out it's I need to be doing the right thing it's it's our company information and I should be managing it well and SharePoint is just the mechanism we're using to do that, but it doesn't come with any instructions and it doesn't help you in terms of setting up a library correctly. So uh, I decided to get some training and I knew that AIM is where I wanted to do that. The ECM course, the thing that surprised me the most about it was how similar the process was to systems development, which is what I had been doing for 20 years prior to that. I had I've been of the opinion that you know, structured, unstructured data would be sort of like herding cats, hard to manage, hard to figure out, and discovering that there, there is a methodical approach, there are ways to, to do it you know, with certainty, and, and there is a way to wrap it in a process and manage it as a project, really resonated with me, and uh, that, that made it easy to, to start tackling some of those pro projects. It's been very helpful. I still uh, apply things that I learn in those classrooms, I'm urging some of my people on my team to, to take those courses. There's just pieces of, when, when somebody asks me questions like, you know, what is metadata, or, or what do I need to do this, or what's the difference between metadata and classification, or why do I bother if I have search, if I can just do search, why don't I just, why do I need all this stuff? And a lot of times they'll ask those questions, and those are questions that we discuss. Those are questions that were answered in the training, and I have an answer that, it, that is my opinion, and I have an answer that I know is supported by research and is supported by experience in the, in the industry, by people who do this for a living, by people who do this a lot. It's very helpful. Thank you.